Hi guys, this is a little introduction into portable traffic signals. Uh, please remember that this is familiarisation. I will show you how to set them up, how to use them correctly, but it is familiarisation. If you are using them at work, then you should really have information, instruction, training as well. Uh, let's go and have a look at them and we'll see how to start them up. Okay, so we're going to go to our slave unit first of all. I'm going to make sure that uh, the easiest system I'm going to show you hopefully. Switching on, press the on off button, wait for the screen to come around and on the screen it should say signal number two and it should say radio, which is exactly what this does. After that, we need to go through our display and make sure that we've got correct battery power in here. This one's reading 12.25 volts, so we know that the 12 volt system on this plenty of power for what we need to do. Just gonna take a note of the channel to ensure that we're on the same channel when we go to the master unit. This is on channel 30. We're gonna go over to the master now, switch that one on. So it's important to put the slave on first so that the master can find it when we switch it on. So same process, on off button, press it once, let the light come on, the screens will change through. This one is telling me it is signal number one, which is exactly what we want. And it's a two phase, one lane setup, which is exactly what we're talking about today. Next thing I need to do is have a look at the battery power on this unit. So we press the display button, go through the displays. And again, this one has got over 12 volts. So it's absolutely right to be used. Once we've got that done, we need to have a look at what our layout is, make sure that our signal numbers are correct, and then we can set our times. So again, we're gonna press our signal number, make sure it is signal number one, which it is. We're gonna press the layout button, two phase, one lane, which is again, is exactly what we need to do. If we need to alter the times, which we should always check, we need to press the times or vehicle actuation button. So we press that once and the times come up on here. It shows us each phase, the green time and the red time. I'm going to adjust these because these are incorrect. I want to change my settings. I use the plus minus buttons to adjust what I want to do. Simple as that. Always remember to press the enter button once you've done that. And on the screen, that will come up and say saving data. We're going to press the display button again. Make sure we come back to the first screen. On that screen, it will show us the phases. There's also a counter on there, which we can ensure our timings that we've set are correct. Once that's done, we can follow a couple of cycles through to ensure that we can see the lights changing. Follow the counter, look at the lights, make sure you're happy with the cycles that are working, and then we can think about putting them into the right place. Okay guys, so that's a little introduction into the portable traffic signals. Hope you found it useful. Any other problems, any queries, please go to the website, have a look for a contact number if you want to talk to somebody.